I will point out that the total absence of humor now, it's not just the former comedians, not just Netflix. The uh, chief metro political correspondent for the New York Times, Shane Goldmacher, he watched this uh, interview by Ali Stuckey, friend of the show Ali Stuckey, uh, this mock satirical interview where she pretends to interview Ocasio-Cortez. And it's kind of funny. Uh, he responds in the perfect leftist way. Here is that interview. Alexandria, thanks for being here. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Do you have any experience that qualifies you for this job? I was growing up during the, the Clinton era. Um, and then basically when I was in middle school, 9-11 happened. Do you have any knowledge whatsoever about how our political system works? Mm. Yikes. <laughs> So it's really good. It goes on. It's worth watching the whole thing. But look, she's obviously on a different set. She's on a different background. She's wearing different clothing than the interviewer in the interview with Ocasio-Cortez is. And that interview clip between uh, the, the Hoover Institution, or I'm sorry, Margaret Hoover and Ocasio-Cortez went viral. Everybody saw it, right? And so Allie, who does satire, is doing a little satire video, and it was very funny. This is how the New York Times chief political correspondent responded. He said, Shane, Shane Goldmaker, Goldmacher. This faked interview of Ocasio by CRTV has nearly a million views on Facebook in less than 24 hours. Interview didn't happen. It takes clips from Margaret Hoover's show and edits in faux questions. Not labeled satire other than the winky emoji that labels it satire. Get this man a Pulitzer. This guy, this is the kind of breaking journalism, <laughs> incredible work that we can expect from the New York Times. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my gosh. It's, uh, first of all, it's obvious satire. Second of all, by a well-known satirist, uh, then it has a little winky emoji on it, alerting you that uh, this is obviously satire uh, and for a clip that everybody has seen. And the left, they said, wait a second. I, this isn't real because they don't, they don't understand. They don't understand their opposition. They don't understand the world. So they think that if a, cons first of all, if a conservative does something, it can never be satire because conservatives don't do comedy. They don't, no, they can't be funny. They don't joke around. They, no, they're like mean, alt-right racist David Dukes. They can't do that, right? That's what they, that's what they think. And so he's alerting people. He said, this is fake. And then all the lefties, if you look in the little Twitter thread, they say, I tried to report it. Yeah, I tried to report it too. What do you say? Fellas, fellas, there's, it's something called humor. It's called comedy. Life isn't so bad. It's, it's okay. Sometimes it's okay. You can laugh a little. It's all right. You're not going to, you, it won't prevent you from being an ally to laugh a little. It's okay. You can, no, you can, it's okay. You can still be a good person and laugh every so often. Uh, really, really bizarre. I mean, this guy's a New York Times writer. Who, who knows? I mean, who knows where this goes for the left? I can't imagine they'll, they'll go this way forever. It's so unfunny.